Hey guys, welcome back to Little Boy Customs. Today we're going to be working on the 1938 Chevrolet Coupe once again. The last video we set the valves on it and my dad said something about he didn't think the timing was right on the engine and sure enough, he might be right. So today we're going to set the timing on this engine. booster depends on whether you live in a very cold temperature area or whether you live in a very very hot like Arizona or, or Utah or somewhere like that where it's very very out in the desert you can actually set your timing manually by a few degrees plus or minus uh, so that the engine will run at its optimal peak uh, with the type of gas that you're using so in order to set the timing on a uh, six-cylinder like this, you always need to revert back, no matter where this has been set previously, you need to bring it back to dead zero. And that way, you set your little thumb screws to dead zero. And that way, when you do set the timing here, that everything is synchronized. So if you need to change that later, in Texas you don't need to change it at all, but if you lived in a state where it was extremely cold and you had a hard time starting, you could change this by a few degrees to the uh, retard it, or you could advance it in a very, very hot temperatures a few degrees. It makes it easier for the engine to start. But Texas, we're moderately not cold, not hot, that, that tremendously hot. So we always just leave it at zero. So if you see that little hole down there, you see that ball bearing in there? I'm not sure if you can or not. I'll try to get as close as I can. That little ball bearing, that's how we're going to set the timing. You have that needle setting there. And then you set the timing off of that needle right there with the ball bearing. So we'll paint the ball bearing with the white paint. White paint and then we'll put a timing light on the engine and try to set this with the distributor cap. All right, you see the needle down there? The needle is what we're looking to get that white spot, which is the ball bearing. We want those two lined up whenever we're timing this. Timing light. And all we're gonna do is hook this up where we can read the timing as the engine runs. So on the six cylinder, the very front one, always on the six cylinder, the very front one is your number one plug. So we're just going to put that uh, reader up on the number one plug and you got to have electricity to make this work. So we're going to come off our 12 volt here and we're going to come off our ground here. Just like that. And that hooks your light up. So it should, every time this engine comes around on number one compression cylinder and fires, it will actually strobe, this light will strobe. And as that light strobes, each time it number one cylinder fires, you can point it at that pointer and make sure that ball is also meeting that pointer at the exact same time at this stroke. every time that cylinder hits on number one cylinder. And that ball is nowhere near, I don't even see that white ball, period. So this thing is not in time. So in order to do that, kill the engine. Now on a modern engine, these, these things are so easy to do because you got a clamp bolt that clamps the distributor in a certain place. Of course, a fuel-injected engine, you, 
you don't even have to worry about it. Uh, that those things are this is just with a distributor engine only and uh, these are a little more cantankerous to get this distributor unclamped it's actually got a uh, clamp on the back side of this distributor it's hard to get to and you gotta worm your screwdriver in there and actually find that clamp which is not easy to do especially on a hot engine kill the engine. So the nut that we're looking at in order to turn the distributor. Yeah, I'm trying to find it on camera. No. Sorry. Come on, focus. Okay, All right. I got you. It's that nut right there. That right there is, you just use a screwdriver and then that's what loosens and tightens the distributor cap in order for you to advance it or retard it. That way you can time the engine. All right, so now that we've got the valves all set in the last video that you saw, now we have the engine timed. You can hear how quiet this little engine is. Right, guys so there's still a few things left to do on this engine not really the engine mainly the car so we had the radiator fixed on it but it's still got some leaking issue going on we don't think it's coming out of the radiator we think it's coming out of either the radiator cap or we need to find out if it has a thermostat on this car but either way we still have a little bit of liquid leakage going on so we're gonna have to fix that I'm not sure if I'm gonna videotape that or not uh, probably not but uh, look forward to the next episode of this car and it would be of the first test drive in the car all right guys so if you enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and as always thanks for watching until next time be safe